So I want to show you guys something. Now, what you just heard was the sound of about six to eight frames per second in uncompressed full raw file versus compressed raw at about 10 to 12 frames per second. Now, I have always been curious if there's actually a difference in file quality when you're editing in post and things like that between compressed versus uncompressed raw. So I went out, I conducted a few tests so that you guys don't have to, and the results were actually kind of surprising. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video for those results. Now let's get into it. So the Sony a7 IV can do up to 10 frames per second in compressed RAW. Now you also have small, medium, large, and full size lossless RAW files formats as well, but that's your six to eight frames per second versus your 10. Now as someone who shoots a lot of fast moving subjects, having those few extra frames could mean the difference between getting the shot and not getting it. So I took a few pictures of the same exact thing with the, all the different raw file sizes that we have here in the studio to see if you could actually tell the difference between the quality between all the different raw files. So all of these photos that I have right here are taken with the same exact settings on the Sony 24 to 105 F4 lens and they aren't edited at all. What's interesting about the file sizes is that the compressed raw file is bigger than the small and medium lossless files. I really wasn't expecting that. So that means we should have more room to play with our colors and clarity, etc., when we're editing. So besides doing the stuff in the studio, I wanted to come out and do an actual real world test and test out compressed versus uncompressed raw photos because we have 10 frames per second in uncompressed and about six to eight in compressed. And those two extra frames could be the difference between getting the shot and not getting the shot. So we're gonna take some photos of my, my, my friend Michael playing pickleball here. And we're gonna test out 10 frames per second versus six to eight, put the same edits on the photos and see what we can get. And pictures. He's he's already famous. He's in a pickleball magazine. Yeah. Like a photo I took of him. Yeah. Right. He's on an app. Oh yeah, I should probably mention I'm using the Tamron 35 to 150 f2 to 2.8 as well. Okay, they're about to start pickling, so I gotta get back to shooting. All right, so that's pretty much all the shooting we have. I think I'm gonna be shooting in compressed raw a little bit more often than I usually do, just because having those more frames per second helps me get some of those money shots that you just can't get. And I found that the, the picture quality is, is great between the two, it's totally fine. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And until the next time, Venti Views out.